Hi everybody. So today we're gonna do a different uh, movie. Um, I'm gonna show you how I prepare my uh, gift substitute. So for that, I have a monoline. I think this one is 45 millimeter. Uh, I'm gonna use three strands of that. Also, uh, I have one of these. I was uh, lucky to buy uh, one of the last ones. Um, it's the one described in the book of George M. Kelson. So, this is the machine, or the tool, it's not the machine. So I have everything I need here. So I just gonna prepare the mono. Uh, I'm not sure if I got the sandpaper, but normally I um, sandpaper a bit just to give them a, a less shine and then I twist them. So let's start. So what I have done here is to uh, tie three loops in the top so I just can hang in the fly line and then I have a lead weight in the bottom. So while I'm spinning on this one, I'm gonna, this one have three marks in it one for each strand, so they get, get separated but twisted, uh, like old rope technique. Uh, so that's basically, basically how it works. So, let me then quickly, let me see, there we are. I made it a bit too long, but it doesn't matter. Looks good. So it's gonna continue. I don't think you can see that much.
taking it off and then just tie a knot like I said here so we have one one two three removing the lead weight so I had some substitute for a while um, really nice but I didn't sandpaper it now I didn't have anything uh, to use at home so um, but if you do it it get uh, less shiny so it's gonna last for a huge amount of flies and it's uh, three strands uh, 14 kilo so it will hold for sure as you can see quite quite thick um, yeah this is what i'm using uh, when i uh, do substitute so uh, have a look at the rope uh, twisting techniques uh, I think you can find a video on it and uh, if you handy you can build a, a machine out of uh, George M. Kelson's description. Oh baby I love